வெல்கம் டு நரேஷ் ஐ டெக்னாலஜிஸ் திஸ் இஸ் ராம் சந்தர் இந்த லாஸ்ட் வீடியோஸ் வி டி டாக் அபவுட் வாட் இஸ் லோக்கல் வேரியபிள் ஸோ என் ஆஃப் திஸ் வீடியோ ஐ ஹைலைட் லைக் டிஃப்ரென்ஸ் பிட்வீன் கிளாஸ் லெவல் வேரியபிள் அண்ட் லோக்கல் வேரியபிள் நத்திங் பட் கிளாஸ் லெவல் வேரியபிள்ஸ் ஹேவிங் டிஃபால்ட் வேல்யூஸ் லோக்கல் வேரியபிள்ஸ் டசன்ட் ஹேவ் வி கேன் யூஸ் சம் டைப் ஆஃப் மாடிஃபையர்ஸ் ஆன் டாப் ஆஃப் தி கிளாஸ் லெவல் வி கான்ட் யூஸ் இன் லோக்கல் like this these type of things we discussed so mainly variables are categorized into two types one is a primitive already we discussed and other one is what referenced in the last 10 videos i only concentrate on what primitive data now in this video especially i'm highlighting one more type of variable that is what referenced variable that is what guys referenced variables referenced variables so what is the meaning of referenced variables very simple with the support of primitive variable i have a capability to hold exactly one value with the help of referenced variable i have a capability to hold multiple values what is that multiple values so what is the meaning of uh, holding multiple values here reference variables doesn't hold values directly reference variables uh, internally using what here address mechanism with the address with the support of address only every variable can hold more than one value so here mainly how many types of reference variables do we have in java language we have two types one is a class level reference variables another one is local reference variables another one is local reference variables local reference variables okay simple i am writing shortcut manner rv again class level reference variables are two types one is static reference variables another one is non static reference variables one is static reference variable another one is what non static reference variable now how to design reference variables in java language very simple so we have different uh, reference variables we have in java language with the support of uh, uh, array concept and also we can uh, develop the reference variable with the support of uh, what we can call as uh, class and uh, we can uh, develop reference uh, ref, uh, reference variable with the support of what interface we can develop uh, we can develop reference variable with the support of uh, enum we can develop reference variable with the support of what annotation what is that annotation so with the help of these five things we can develop referenced variables in java language so here my main focus is this one how to develop how to develop in this referenced variable category my main focus is how to develop uh, re- class class related reference variable now observe first let me starts with array reference variable after that class and in coming videos i'm going to be concentrate on interface and enum as well as uh, annotation so let me starts with uh, first let me give you one uh, uh, syntax one syntax related to uh, reference variables so what is the syntax very simple here or simply we can call as referenced data type referenced data type as well as reference variable name reference variable name as well as equal operator as well as equal operator here multiple values if it is the array directly we are writing multiple values simply here we writing memory 
here we writing what here memory see see guys don't be confused what is the memory and everything we will see in coming video so how to develop reference variable we need to write a reference data type after that we need to write a reference variable name after that we need to write what here memory which contains either single value or multiple values now observe here uh, let me compare these syntaxes with uh, uh, primitive variable in the place of reference variable what we have reference data type what we have primitive data type primitive data type in the place of reference variable what we have one uh, reference variable means here primitive variable name primitive variable name after that what we have value directly what here value see guys uh, very simple very simple here in the place of memory what we have value we have that is what here primitive in the place of uh, reference data type what we have primitive data type in the place of reference variable what we have primitive variable everything is same syntactically nothing is different absolutely not same but internally somewhat uh, different mechanism we have understand or not now observe here so let me starts with uh, a small uh, here i'm not uh, highlighting this video i'm not highlighting array related concepts those videos we will see in coming uh, classes now here i'm just uh, writing uh, some some of the examples related to uh, referenced variables so already i mentioned reference variables are two types one is the class level another one is what a local and again class level will be categorized into two types so what are those observe class i'm writing one class name like what here student student if you are declaring a variable like a static static variable and uh, here i'm writing like a student uh, s1 equal to s1 or s2 whatever it may be s1 equal to memory how to create the memory in java language there are lot of ways already we discussed those ways how to create object in java language especially those are five ways new operator and factory methods clone method deserialization auto boxing concept again in the factory method predefined static factory method and predefined non static factory method user defined static factory method and user defined non static factory method everything uh, are only for uh, 10 videos i given on top of the object creation in java so before going to this one please go through my previous videos static student s1 equal to what here new student so here according to our uh, syntax in the place of uh, memory what we have new student new student will providing the memory so s1 s1 is nothing but what here reference variable name and student is what here reference data type and one more thing is if you are not declaring static as usual that is comes under what here non static student s2 equal to student s2 equal to what here new student s this is what non static reference variable the first one is the first one is static reference variable second one is what non static reference variable and a local what is the meaning of local reference variable if you are declaring any variable within the blocks nothing but static block or non static block or within the constructor or within the method those uh, objects or those variables we can call as a uh, local reference variable for example student student s3 equal to new student this is what your local reference variable so mainly how many types of variables do we have three types one is static uh, class level variable and non static class level reference variable and third one is what here local reference variables these are the three main reference variables in our java language so how to develop reference variables uh, using array what is array how many types of arrays we have and after that uh, what is a class how to develop uh, a reference variable by using the class those type of interesting issues we will see in coming videos i hope you enjoyed this video for more videos please subscribe naresh city channel thank you